Hello everyone, I'm Replay Ty Heretic, and welcome back to Kirby Superstar. In the last episode we covered half of the Great Cave Offensive, and in this episode we're going to cover the other the other half. I'm not very well practiced in this area in particular, but I will see what I can do. I'm gonna go left to right. I mean that is how it works, right or right to left. <laughs> That is how it works. I hope. I love using a lot of these plasma moves. Like they're incredibly strong and they also and they also carry enemies. There they go. So in turn it's actually a very strong ability. I'm gonna need some mirror. Some mirrors move right now. Alright. Go. Yep. Unicorn's horn. Okay, well. Okay, well, hopefully that means that I'm on track. Next room. Ooh, I don't want to break that that box. Let's just get rid of this. Not, I did not want to break that because otherwise I would not be able to get autumn time. Which hopefully... Well, I think I went the wrong way because everything's backwards. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll learn which way I went after this. Now the best way to defeat these enemies is to just swallow them. It's oddly, it's oddly one of the few many, like the few stronger enemies that can be easily defeated with a swallow, but or inhale. But what can you do? I might have needed yo-yo. If they're giving me this many yo-yos, here, take this. I said take it. You fool. Yo-yo. <laughs> uh, there you are. Rice bowl. It's cracked too, that's funny. Yeah, if this is what the right side looks like, then I should be on track. That is if I don't mess up so many times. You have a lot of invincibility frames with Yo-Yo, honestly. Ooh, this is bad. This way we go again. <laughs> well, there goes my helper, at least. Where do I go from here? Is there more? Oh good, you got Parasol. In time. There's... I, I've, I want to believe that there's more to this. I'm gonna check up here. Oh, no, there isn't. Can I just come back from here? Yeah. Cool. And... Now that was fast, jeez. That was incredibly fast. Oh, well, there he goes. So there's one phenomenon that I've been paying very little attention to today, the recent times. There's been a thing called Twitch Plays Pokemon that has been going on the past few days, almost two weeks. Mr. Saturn is a reference to Earthbound. 
Uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon is a really weird thing. Like, I've been... Like I said before, I've been paying a little bit of attention to it. But... I don't like it. <laughs> it's... I, I went into a... I went into, like, a little bit of a... I, I guess I could call it, like, a free-willed... Like, article about what Twitch Plays Pokemon is like, and I've pretty much compared it to things that I actually had to spend a lot of time researching. And the thing is, there's a lot. There's like a lot of things you can compare it to. It's like, it's it's almost terrifying how much is going on in that, in that little thing that's, in that little stream. And they're doing it with The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> it's just terrifying. They're doing it with the the Legend of Zelda recently. Like somebody's deciding to make a project with that script, and that's also very terrifying as well. Ooh man, so many doors. I don't trust myself to miss anything, which is why I'm going to be very careful and kind of map out. Which is why I'm starting here of all places. There's a lot of water here. Uh oh. Mm. Uh oh. Oh wait, Rocky did it. Rocky cleared the way for us. Cool. Rocky, the savior of us all. There's a lot more to this level than I thought there was. Ooh, that is an instant death pit. If I've ever seen it. Is it really a death pit, though? Yep, it's a death pit. <laughs> uh oh. This is definitely rock-oriented. Gold crown. I don't think I've actually gotten these treasures before. This is, like, new to me. This area itself is new to me. Ooh, okay. Oh, and that just ejected me. <laughs> Crap. I've, I've made a few mistakes in my life. I'm about to make more if I die. Where's t where to next? I guess we keep going up. I'd rather not have a temporary ability, but what can you do? Just gonna get rid of that. That was an interesting dodge. Oh wow, there are a lot of treasures in this area. <laughs> oh man. There are a lot of treasures. Hopefully the hopefully that place takes me back to where I was earlier. Ugh. Sorry about that. Ugh. The one time I tried not to sneeze and I sneeze. Uh huh. Okay. So this is where the boss is. Oh no, this is where Camellio is. This isn't the same boss. Good, this is one of my favorite fights, actually. It's a super interesting fight. And looks like Plasma Wisp is tearing stuff apart right now. Hold on, I need paint. Cool. That wasn't too bad. And a maximum tomato for our efforts. 
Ooh. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's just try gunning for some treasures. Okay, this is not where we want to go. That looks like a way out that we don't want to go to. Oh god, barrels. There's like a path for every single way. This is crazy. falling from. That's death. Okay. I'm glad I caught myself before that happened. <laughs> I was like, wait, I remember this. Sneakily happening. Oop. Is there really nothing in that room? Just candles? Okay, there's something here because of that button. something to do with that? There's a switch. Ah, son of a bitch. Get Plasma Wisp out of the way. Is that something I need to do? Oh, yes it is. Okay. I think I can do that. It's a pretty crazy timing, though. Oh, crap. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get Plasma Wisp out of the way, because it's annoying me. He's annoying me right now. We'll get this. <laughs> there we go. What's our treasure here? The model ship. Oh boy, we are missing a lot. <laughs> It's gonna be really hard to get all the treasures, actually. Like, I always question why I'm trying to go for completion in this game. Oh, right. Over here. Is that all here? I think it is. brings us right back to the front entrance. Okay, I'm just gonna go on my gut instinct if there's no more on the left side of that area up there. So I'm just gonna start doing stuff up on the left side over here. Because that's next on the list. Oh, and I need hammer. Oh, great. <laughs> great, I needed hammer. Screw you, ninja. Ah. Okay, there is something up here, at least. That I can potentially get to? Yes, it's a treasure, too. Star Tiara. Uh-oh. Shoo. That's the opposite of what I wanted. Pancakes. That is what I want, actually. And that is not what I want, either. A Maxim Tomato is great, too. 
Uh, I wonder if it's possible for me to get that just that hammer again. What am I doing, anyways? Uh, I'm kind of regretting saying I'm gonna do. Cause this, cause this section alone is gonna take me three, a single episode, maybe two, actually, cause there's so many branching paths. I usually don't help you for completion, anyways. Yeah, I'm not gonna complete this. Sorry to sorry to ruin anyone's expectations, but not really a completionist let's player. I was going to, and then I keep forgetting how much crap you have to do in that stage. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna What's the term I'm looking for? I think I'm going to uh impeach that idea. Besides, I have all, besides I have the four seasons. That's all. That's all I really care about. Yep. That's fourth and final season. I wonder if wing is a good idea for this for this for this really hard thing I'm gonna need. Nope, that's not it. Uh, ninja. There's a really hard to get treasure, and I've had the biggest problems getting it ever since. I'm gonna look at my move set on this. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Okay, I'm gonna try to do. Okay, I'm gonna just store power here and get the jet ready so I have all so I have a full charge and then hopefully that means that I can do this no what the what is this terrible once I actually remember what to do. Ugh. Some things I just can't remember. Okay. <sighs> Where to next? I guess here. Myself a cutter. Now well, that ended poorly. Come on. Get through that. Thank you. Everything about this game is actually really interesting. Like, I guess in terms of, like, polish, this game is probably up there as one of the more polished games. It's pretty clean, and I can't think of that many glitches that have happened while playing this game. All in all, it's actually fairly clean. Okay, this is... Yep. And then, oop. Okay, I want to do 
this. Thank you. Okay, and this should be Triforce. Yep, Triforce. Worth a lot of money. And up we go again. And here's where we are about to face the final boss. This is where if I had Mike from that area earlier, then I would be able to use it pretty well. I don't want you to get stoned, so... Sir Kibble knows his combos, though. It's pretty interesting. Yep. Sacrifice. <laughs> Sacrifice. Sacrifice. <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay, this should lead to the final area. There are only four main areas. And the last one is just returns you to the first area. Pretty much just unlocks the exit. So the thing with this is if you miss any treasures, then you can go back and get them all again. I'm not going to, though. Because, uh, like I said, I'm not really a completionist. Also, in case it wasn't obvious, you could see that the entire, that entire section took uh, 15 minutes. And I barely even got half of those treasures. I at least got the Triforce, though, and that's important. So with that, we actually escape the, <laughs> the Great Cave. We are free, and now we get to see what treasures we collected. This game is actually pretty difficult to complete uh, in terms of just trying to get all the treasures and everything because there is a lot of paths in a couple of places that if you take the right path then you go straight to like the beginning of the next area or like the transition to the next area and that's not exactly the best thing. So in turn this this one is actually probably one of the hardest. Uh, in, for just trying to finish it. If you just run through the entire thing, it takes you... maybe 15 minutes? It doesn't really take too long. If you're trying to collect everything, then it could... I'd say that it would take an hour or something. Which it has. I didn't collect everything, though, so it might actually take longer going through all the paths and everything. Because there's, like, branching paths in Area 3, and then in... Area 4, it has all these special paths, so in turn it's just full of crazy stuff, and I'm not really a completionist like I said before, uh, so I never really bothered to get all the treasures in this. But that doesn't really count towards this game's 100% completion, oddly enough. Collecting every single treasure and everything doesn't affect the completion rating. Which is interesting, considering that it is, uh, it is tracked, so... I guess... The only thing that it counts for completion is beating each stage. Anyways, that was the Great Cave Offensive. Sorry it took so long, and sorry to disappoint you towards the end. But, uh, yeah. That has been... Uh, that has been that game, anyways. In the next episode, we tackle Revenge of Meta Knight. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you really like my content, then feel free to subscribe. Until then, I am Replay Ty Heretic, and I will see you guys in the next episode.